Caralho, eu pro game. Mike, but people always say, always say that oh, you have to go every day porrada and then train so hard. So, what's the difference? Uh, we're not going porrada, we're going porrada with our minds. So, porrada with your body is one thing. We're just going porrada with our minds. We're constantly solving and making new puzzles. You know, there's never uh, a round where we have a move that's like, okay, this is gonna work every time. The next scenario, it's dead the move, and then we have to solve it again. Mm. You know, like I think that's the biggest difference between us and everyone else. That um, we're just constantly working on stopping what we're working to keep making new things. You know. What do you think, Kennedy? I totally agree. What? what I just said. We're we're like it's like it's, again it's like every round for us it's like Black Belt World's finals. It's that level in the room, you know. So when you have every round Blackboard World's finals, that's where most of Jiu Jitsu is developed, right? Exactly. We're like the two best people, right? So I'm the best person at 135, Kenny's the best person at 145. So all our rounds are Blackboard World's finals and the level is just so much higher than uh, the people we're going to be competing with, you know? We're on like 10 years exchanges, uh, sequence 1000, 1001, mm -hmm. like every round, you know? One thing I feel with Mike whenever we're training, I feel like uh, he's always ahead and change, changing um, his uh, attacks and he goes uh, one through five and force myself to have a better defense. You're making me on sequence a thousand. So, <laughs> no, it's not one through five. It's like one to a thousand. So I feel the more... The more it's he, his fault. <laughs> so I feel the more he, he gets me and tests me, the more I learn and give a better reaction to him. So that way he can like improve his attack as well. Not just uh, going like the same ones. So he keeps like going five, six, seven, eight, and then go back one, two, three, all the way to 10, and it's uh, very, uh, very challenging in the mind. It makes you keep thinking all the time, because the moment he's ahead of you, it's a snowball. But yeah. I'm gonna reinforce that, but the most important, Kennedy, it's safe. Same. Right, so it's the fun, energy it's, of having fun and safe, that's and that's insane. what makes us learn so much. Exactly, you can get caught, you can get caught like 10, 20 times, because then you know that you're learning, but you're not getting hurt. And hobbyist energy. Exactly. Like, um, in the past, I trained mostly in my garage for like the last five years because I didn't like training with competitors so much because I feel like they're always trying to hurt you. They're all trying to like, they, they don't want you to improve. They have like that energy where they're all trying to like um, get ahead of each other and they don't really care about each other. Mm. So uh, hobbyists, they love to be there, they're having fun. Mm. So what I love about our training so much and I feel why, like why we're all excelling so much as a team is we all have hobbyist energy. We really love what we're doing and we're all having fun and we're all helping each other. So there's none of that like weird, bad energy where people are getting hurt and breaking their legs, their arms in training, you know? So I feel like that that's the, our biggest difference is we do our passion, we're having fun. And because we're having fun, we improve. I think that the, the core thing is like what Professor Cobrina said, having fun. Having fun. Just and you, safety, yeah. Just only one thing, when you travel in the mic, gotta be careful with the scratch, you know? Just what do you mean scratch? I scratched you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Where's scratch again? What are you talking just, about? Just a few scratch, no? It's, that was for me. Though. It's because he, the key is he climbs your body, no? I'm clawing. Uh, <laughs> so he's climbing. Oh. It's like a, a little teddy bear, no? He's got the claws. Or it's like macaco, a macaco. Like, oh, like a macaco, like a cat. No, Mac is strong. Macaco oh, bear. macaco. Maca bear. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm eating, a... I'm eating a lot of bananas. I'm eating a lot of bananas. I'm becoming like a monkey. Monkey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So I don't know, Ken. That's both the, are really strong. The, but does bear eat uh, Yeah, the but I'm bear. too small to be a bear. No, but you can be Bears like, are like uh, big, though. But you can be a one of a kind of bear, no? Like a koala bear? Like they're smaller, right? Bear. Are they smaller koala bears? Like kind yeah, of a yeah. unique bear, no? Yeah, maybe I'm a koala bear. This bear hasn't hit the puberty yet, no? So Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, but how about uh, uh, Mike? So, what is the challenge you have ahead of you now? And then we have Cade Rutola for the 170 belt. Um, that's another, that's going to be another, like, probably the hardest match of my life, you know? But um, Kenny's helping me so much. He's giving me so many of the reactions and, like, movement of, of Cade, you know? But he's also adding in so many crazy sequences on top of that. So, um, it's just constantly pushing my mind, you know? Um, Kenny's putting me in scenarios where like I'm exhausted and I barely could retain my guard. He's going side to side and I have to survive, you know? So we're doing so much work like this, you know? And um, my last match with Gabriel, it was like that too. Like the day before I, I told Kenny, two hours, kill me. Uh, I wanna feel this feeling because then when I fight everyone else, I feel so much more chill, you know? So when I started the match with Gabriel, I'm like, oh my God, what? Because in my brain, I'm thinking it's gonna feel like Kenny and it's one billionth less, you know? So. Uh, that's like my mentality, you know, I train so hard, so then the competition, we feel so comfortable, you know. Mm. You have to be uncomfortable in the training to be comfortable in the competition, 
you know, I think that's the biggest concept for us. And we have no ego, you know. I make mistakes every day, and um, I'm making mistakes, and Kenny's finding my mistakes, and then we're fixing them together, and vice versa. And I think that's why we're improving so much as a team. How about your challenge, Kennedy? Huh? Ahead. What, what challenge do you have ahead we, of you? We have uh, ADCC, and after that, we go back probably with some. Uh, after ADCC, we do some uh, super fights, right? No gi. And, uh, you look for some super fights, right, Kennedy? Some super fights. Oh, I right. know. I know that um, Kennedy like is by far the best 145 person you know in ADCC. So my prediction, he's gonna win every match, no problem. <laughs> um, I'm putting him in like the craziest leg lock exchanges like every day, and his like how he's defending is like I've never felt before, you know. So we're gonna be so ready. It's gonna be awesome. And, uh, Let's. One one thing that people don't understand, I just realized uh, when I train with Mike, people would say, "Oh man, you gotta train with Mike. You have to uh, fill him out." And before you train with him, you look at him and say, oh, he's small, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab him, I'm going to crush him. <laughs> You're going to crush him. But when you train with him, it's uh, reverse. You so. see the reality, no? And then what people say is, you're like, hmm, it's true. So when people, when you, when we tell you guys, when we see him fight a kid, it's going to be totally different, guys think. Just believe us. Because uh, on this game, uh, I'm going to tell you something, Mike is ahead. And uh, I think we're gonna we're going to shock the world, regardless if we get the the the, su the submission or not. We are going to shock the world and Denver, right, Mike? We're gonna do it as a team, though. It's all like a team effort, you know. Like all of us are helping each other, and uh, when one of us is out there, we're all out there, you know. It's that energy, and yep. I think that that is why we're gonna do it because we have three of the best people in the world, you know, Professor Cobrinha, who honestly, all the matches we're having, he would beat all the people we're having matches with still, just training for fun. Agreed. And um, and us all like putting our brains together and like figuring everything out. So it's like all three of us versus everyone, you know, and like, it's very hard to compete with all three of our brains together. Yes. Insane. It's true, Mike. I can't wait. I can't wait to, uh, to take our game to the next level. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Let's go.